People trusted the FBI more when J. Edgar Hoover was running the place than when you are. And the reason is because you don't give straight answers. You give answers that, that later a court deems aren't true. And then at the end of the day, you won't criticize an obvious shakedown when it's directly in front of us. And it appears as though you're whitewashing the conduct of corrupt people. Respectfully, Congressman, in your home state of Florida, the number of people applying to come work for us and devote their lives working for us is over up over 100 percent. We're deeply proud state. of them, and they deserve better than you. What a weird response to Matt Gates today. Joining me now, Lauren Boebert from Colorado. Okay, there's a bunch we can get to about your biggest takeaways from today, but wasn't that response so incredibly petty and odd? Uh, it was, and massive credit to um, my boy Matt Gates um, because I know how deeply he cares about our, our military personnel, our veterans. Um, he, he represents a very highly populated area with military personnel, and uh, he knows uh, that they do deserve better uh, than, than Christopher Wray, um, uh, you know, those who are, are coming out and wanting to now serve in the FBI. And uh, he, he knows the, the service that they've been through and the recognition that they deserve. And so I'm extremely proud of him uh, for his uh, quick-witted response, which is um, right on par for, for Gates. Yeah, that's pretty on par for Gates. My boy Thomas Massey was throwing bombs out there today, too. Here's what he said. The Bank of America, uh, with no legal process, was, uh, gave to the FBI gun purchase records uh, with with no geographical boundaries for anybody that was a Bank of America customer. Is that true? Well, what I do know is that the uh, a number of business community partners all the time, uh, including financial institutions, share information with us about possible criminal activity. And my understanding is that that's fully lawful. Uh Maybe fully lawful, but my goodness, is it horrific and wrong? We really have our financial institutions working hand in hand with the FBI to violate my rights. Do I have that right? Uh, that's what I heard from him. But, you know, Jesse, my, my co-chair of the Second Amendment Cauc Caucus, Congressman Thomas Massey, asked Director Ray if... The, uh, the Bank of America gave the FBI gun purchase records of anyone that was a Bank of America customer. And his answer, my understanding is that the institution shared information with us as happens all the time. This was done without a warrant for people that weren't even suspects. Uh, equally troubling, Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan also showed emails between the FBI and Bank of America making clear that Bank of America also agreed to turn over any historical purchases of firearms to the FBI going back six months for all customers in the Washington, D.C. area. I am absolutely furious that American companies are sharing Americans' private data with the FBI, and this invasion of lawful gun owners' privacy can't uh, be tolerated. Uh, this is something that we absolutely have to um, put to an end. But, I mean, this entire testimony, uh, uh, Jesse, under Christopher Ray's um, reign, we have seen um, that conservative speech is censored, pro-life Christians are labeled domestic terrorists, and whistleblowers are even retaliated against. So it's no surprise that even our privacy and our Second Amendment rights are under attack by Christopher Ray. You want to watch our special on George Washington? It's freaking awesome. But you can. All you have to do is become a First TV supporter. That gives you access to all of our specials on demand. And it's cake. All you have to go to, to is thefirsttv.com slash support. Thefirsttv.com slash support. Become a supporter. Enjoy learning about George Washington.